in the workshop, testing the Castle Steam V6 boiler plant on the bench. I think I will completely finish the job before test running it on the bench. The last job in creating this steam plant is the worst one, cladding the steam inlet pipe with string. Once the copper pipe was wrapped in the string, it was very hairy, so here I'm de-hairifying it using a very small blowtorch. I haven't painted the pipe yet. I would normally paint these pipes white. But if I do that, I will have to wait a whole day for it to dry. Instead, I'm fitting the pipe between the boiler tap and the engine so that I can do a compressed air test now. I know that the pump works and I know that the engine works, so why a compressed air test? The main reason is just to make sure that all the fittings that I've made don't leak. In this clip you can see the layout. I have a plastic tub of water at the right hand side and this is where the water pump is taking its water from. The pipe from the water bypass valve is facing down into this tub as well. So suppose I could use it as a very expensive water feature, but that's not the purpose of the test either. The tap that I'm moving at the bottom of the water gauge is the blowdown valve. And the purpose of a blowdown valve is to clear air bubbles from the glass. But for this test, I've also connected a silicone rubber pipe to this, which goes back to the water tank. Why have I gone to all this trouble? Well, if I didn't, it would be the shortest air test in the world. This south of pump moves a lot of water, and possibly about 20 or 30 strokes of the pump would fill the boiler right to the top. With the boiler pump running slowly and the blowdown valve open, the water goes into the boiler and runs down the pipe back to the tank via the blowdown valve. But when I speed up the pump, it's actually gaining on the blowdown valve, and the water level is climbing up the gauge glass. It's not so bad at this speed. When I slow the pump down, then it more or less equalises. What goes in comes out. But even at this speed, if I let it continue, the gauge glass would fill right to the top. And that's why I fitted a water bypass valve on the water inlet to the boiler. When I open this valve, the water that should be going to the boiler's check valve is diverted to the outlet pipe that returns the water to the tank. At the moment I'm 66 years old, and I'm getting older by the minute. And I'm also type 2 diabetic, but I don't take any medication for that, I control it by diet. Why am I telling you this? Well, when I see or hear running water, like this for instance, it triggers a response that makes me want to go to the toilet. I'm pretty sure this is a mental thing, because I've had the blood tests, and my PSA test is fine. And why am I telling you this? Well, it's just to warn any viewers who might have a similar condition that now is a very good time to go to the toilet before you watch the rest of the video. You can see how constant the flow is, even at this speed. There's a slight pause in the water flow between the strokes. If I speed up the pump, the water flow becomes constant. That's because the water cylinder is double acting, it pumps at every stroke. If I shut the water bypass valve and the water gauge blowdown valve, now all of the water is going into the boiler itself. Just watch the gauge glass. As I was looking around the steam plant while you were looking at the water gauge, I noticed that the steam valve to the pump was leaking slightly, so I removed it, and refitted it with some Loctite 542. So that's not going to leak again. The usual word of caution when using Loctite 542, not only does it seal the joint, but it's a very efficient paint remover, so I'm wiping it off the pump body immediately. The air test on the Castle Steam V6 boiler plant is successful. So I've disconnected the air supply and reconnected it to this pair of Blackgate's twin engines that I'm running in. The really nice looking gadget behind the Blackgate's twin is the original pump that fed the boiler that was on this baseboard. It's a freelance vertical double acting water pump designed and built by Don English. And I was going to use it in this installation because it was already mounted to the board. But from a style point of view, I think I prefer the horizontal pump. It balances the height of the boiler. I'm sure you agree. And that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.